How are you doing? Good. Is this your thing here? And and what's your name? Scott Walker. Scott Walker? Yep. I'm Dan Ringwald, president of the Santa Barbara Real Estate Investor Association. Oh, hi, Nice to meet you, buddy. And we'd love to have you come up and speak sometime. I would love to. Why don't you give me a little rundown of what you're doing here? Sure, absolutely. Well, as you know, um, when you're doing a real estate purchase and you're going to be rehabbing, either for buying a home or fix and flip, you do require a special insurance policy to make sure the, home, the, the building is insured properly. So what I do is provide a quote for you based upon the rehab budget and the type of rehab that's being done. Okay. And provide three different options for, for your insurance. So every building that you're, that you're insuring is going to be vacant. A vacant policy is going to cover standard fix and flip. Builder's risk will cover ground up construction, any square footage, taking down load-bearing walls, and most importantly, building materials. So depending upon what type of rehab you're doing, that's going to determine what type of insurance policy fits your needs. Okay. So your insurance policy is for the construction only. It's not after it's all complete. Correct. That's what the vacant policies are. Okay. Once if you're going to buy a hold, you okay. then convert that policy into a landlord policy. Okay. So part of the full service is for a landlord policy, you want to make sure that your tenants have renter's insurance, and we talk about why it's so important for your tenants to have renter's insurance to protect you as the owner of the property, okay. not being responsible for spending extra money out of your pocket to satisfy your renter in case there's an insurance claim related to the property itself. And you don't do any regular insurance loans, it's mostly business insurance not loans but insurance policies for business not not owner occupants no we do own occupied sure you do i, I own as a, well i own a farmer's agency okay so we specialize of course in personal insurance okay my specialty within the family of insurance is working with real estate investors okay so tell me special insurance. Huh? i live in santa barbara i run the santa barbara real estate investor association we're on about maybe seven acres up about 2,000 feet in the right. mountains of Santa Barbara. Yeah. So we uh, cannot get insurance anywhere except for Fair Plan. California Fair Plan. California Fair Plan. Do you know any way of getting around that and getting something that's Absolutely. less expensive? Well, there's actually uh, what's called the surplus market. So those are out of state insurers or insur insurers that are not covered under the, the state ins uh, reinsurance program. Like Lloyd's of London? Yeah, Lloyd's is one, Scottsdale, Lexington, yep. um, there's a variety of those. Now the challenge is this, depending upon where, you, where you're located, there's only a certain amount of policies available. And once, once the insurer reaches their maximum allotment, they're not going to issue any more policies. But the option with the California Fair Plan, if you cannot get a surplus policy, you can get a California Fair Plan for the fire danger, and then wrap that with a farmer's policy for all your other perils. Gotcha, okay. And it's about a 50-50 cost. The okay. fire is about half the cost, and then the, the, the wraparound policy for you know theft, water, personal liability is about the other 50% of the cost. Okay. The cost of the policy will depend upon square footage, zip code, etc. Now, if you've had a previous fire loss, that's going to add right. to your premium, unfortunately. Gotcha. Uh, one loss is okay. So if you're involved in the Santa Barbara fires, for example, and you had a fire claim that was a catastrophe, so it's considered no fault, Okay. you could still get insurance on that wraparound through a main, mainstream insurance. Interesting. And you might be interested in speaking at the Santa Barbaria? What days do you do your... Do you do your uh, once every other month and toward the end of the month. So you'd like you to book it four or five, six months in advance to make yeah, sure it's no, delivered absolutely. Bring my wife up there. Cool. Absolutely. Hey, it's not like going to Lodi, right? No. I love Lodi. <laughs> what are you talking about? There you go. Okay. I, I mean, cool. I have, a, I have a, one of my former clients in the 
kayak industry has a huge kayak business called Headwaters Kayak in Rhode Island. Ah, well, maybe I should so, be saying Baker, California. Baker, yeah. So there I you go. Oh, nice, beautiful. I've been on, on, the, yeah, on, on the way to on Vegas. The river up there? No, but Lodi? Uh, have you ever visited Lodi? Not, not got a really. Winery? They have a beautiful winery up there? I just hitchhiked through years and years ago. I probably changed a lot. Oh, that's great. Seriously, great Thank you, Scott. You got it, Dan. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you in Santa Barbara. Yeah. Okay. Good Take care. Good you too. How you doing? Good. I'm Dan Ringwald. The uh, I run the Santa Barbara Real Estate Investor Association. Oh, okay. Okay. You're with Lloyd up there. Yeah, he's in Ventura. Yeah. I'm in Santa Barbara, and we run it uh, every other month. And so we're always looking for people like you to come up and speak at our meetings. Excellent. Would you be interested in doing something like that? Might be interested. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Why don't you give me a little rundown of what it is that you're doing here? Well, we provide foreclosures daily, provide real estate leads on a national level. We have a we have quality, fresh, guaranteed real estate leads nationwide, and um, we do this we do this across the nation. We're a corporate sponsor here with Lloyd. Okay. Okay. And that's what we do. Our our leads are either subscription based. There is a one-time purchase. There are 31 different niche markets that are available that we provide for our clients. We primarily get the leads or we source the leads the courthouse records, uh, court, the courthouses, the county records, Department of Motor Vehicles, and credit bureaus. Okay, and these are distressed properties before they go into foreclosure? Not just foreclosures. Obviously, the foreclosures are basically list pendants, notices of default, auctions, notice of trustee sales. But we go beyond that. We can also provide probate leads, divorce leads, absentee owner leads, apartment buildings up to 15 units. Not, we started foreclosures daily in 2004. That's when we got the game. But we've expanded the type of leads that we can get beyond foreclosures. So are you, are you able to get us in contact with the owners of the property? We provide you the data okay. so that you're able to contact the owners, okay. negotiate the deal, and then move on to the next deal. Okay, great. So we provide the real estate data for okay. you. So it's, it's probably a lot more current than the kind of data you might get someplace else. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because we guarantee that the leads are fresh. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And there's real estate attached to those leads. It's not just a vacant property. That's right. And we, we can also do vacant, vacant land also. Okay. Vacant land is a really good also. Okay, and your name again was? My name is Nicholas. Nicholas. Yeah. Please meet you, Nicholas. It's a pleasure meeting you, Dan. Look forward to it. And maybe uh, we can have Lloyd come up at the same time. Maybe. We, Dan, if you leave me your business card, we're having to be giving away some books on, on uh, probate properties. 
Yeah, 